afternoon guys. I've been up six six something. Now I'm heading out with my mom. God knows where. So I actually decided to vlog. It has literally been 10 minutes of waiting for food, right? <laughs> He's getting frustrated. Um, he just wants his food. It is sleeping, Papa. <laughs> yeah. You should be napping too. You gonna read? You gonna read books? Yes? Yeah, you're gonna read right now? <laughs> okay, let's read, okay? So, as a recap of 2017, it has been one of the toughest years I've had to deal with. <laughs> um, mainly because there's been a lot of bad luck with me and Hubs and trying to like, you know, find something better for us, I guess. Um, as in like living wise, money wise. Dealing with stupid drama that's unnecessary, that isn't really between us, but caused by other people, which obviously, like, you shouldn't let get to you and stuff like that. But I guess this year we learned a lot that even though we fought a lot, not because of you know of us, it's mostly because of other things that make us fight with each other. Um, we at the end of the day we still stay together and what I love about him is that he makes me talk to him about certain stuff and that's really like the number one thing I think I've always had in relationships and why I gave up on relationships so easily was because I had trouble communicating with my partner with the partner so I'm really blessed to have him in my life seriously because um I'm looking at Oliver because he's just dead. <laughs> um but yeah you know, like I'm truly blessed to have him because he deals with me in the sense that he always looks out for me, he always protects me and he's also a really good father to Oliver. Like he really comes through Especially when I'm mad <laughs> and I don't get mad that easily. It takes a lot for me to get mad and stuff like that. And it's been really rocky and stuff like that. But we still manage to stay together and in love with each other. I couldn't ask for any better partner to be honest. But this year has really challenged our relationship to see like I guess the challenge was to see if it was worth going with the relationship and if we're really that committed to each other and well this was hard going to school in the beginning like around March 
was hard only because I felt like I was wasting my time in certain classes. I felt like they were pointless and everything in my head was just like, I want to be with Oliver, I want to be with Oliver. And this was when Oliver was still unable like to walk and stuff like that. So I always felt like I had to be there and I couldn't really focus in school. But that's been resolved because I'm going back on Tuesday. I'm going back, I think. And then I tried going to work. And my mistake on that was thinking that I would want to work in an environment that wasn't really for me. And I know this because usually when I do certain things, I guess I listen to my intuition. So I've avoided this place I know, it's a beauty store. I've avoided working there for a long time because I've always seen the um, help wanted signs for a while. Like not just this year, but like years before because I just lived by it. And for some reason I was just like, I'm gonna just try to work and prove myself that I could still go to work and blah blah blah. That was my mistake. The, I did not like the environment of it. I literally dragged myself to work and I was miserable going to work. You would think I was like working at like a beauty store because of the makeup and stuff, but no, like it's a lot different than what you think because there's other stuff to know other than just makeup. In the day, I was dragging myself to do something I didn't want to do. I didn't have to go to work, but I guess I wanted to prove something to myself. And again, I always thought of Oliver, like, I want to be with Oliver, I want to be with Oliver. And, yeah, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't. It made me so, I've never, like, I've never felt so unhappy in my life before. <laughs> but I guess this year made me realize what I really don't like, but that I should really listen to my intuition. And shouldn't worry so much like I get stressed out by what other people tell me I don't get stressed out on my own I get stressed out if I hear things from like my parents or like I don't know any anything it stresses me out and I feel like I can't stress out because I have a kid you know my son is literally like in sync with me so if I'm feeling upset if I'm stressed out he knows I am so, it always tries to cheer me up and whatnot, but I guess my highlights of 2017 was Oliver's birthday. It was something very intimate. I didn't want to throw a big birthday party for him because I don't remember my first birthday party. I feel like there's no reason to throw a big ass birthday party if your kid doesn't have like, like he's not, one, he's not going to remember, two, he's not really aware of what's going on. And three, I realized how Oliver um, reacts in a with with a, uh, reacts around a group of people that he doesn't know. Especially if it's like a large amount of people, he gets like really he gets like anxiety or something. He starts panicking. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that to him. So I was just us, you know, the little family and his godmother. His godfather couldn't come. His godfather's really busy and stuff. He's like an architect or something, I don't know, but, you know, he's out there and doing his thing, and it's understandable, but, but yeah, um, that was one of the biggest highlights, and he turned one, I didn't cry until I literally made a video, a, like a little skim through of his birthday party, with, and then the song, it made me cry, cause I was just like, damn, like, my son's growing up. Well, not growing up, but like, you know, it's just crazy how you go from giving birth to having a newborn and then all of a sudden he's a year old. Like, the transition is insane, but I'm glad I got to savor most of every moment of it because I can always look back and be like I was there for him and I love those little moments. Like, he's so silly, you know? What else? When he started walking seeing his little progress and walking that was crazy and funny because you get to see Oliver struggle to get up manage to get up 
and then little by little taking steps and falling. And all of a sudden they just walk. He was crying because he touched the stove and the stove was hot. So now he's eating grapes. <laughs> what else? What else have, has Oliver done? Oh, Oliver's destroyed like two of my palettes, but I fixed them. And it's hilarious. Like, I can't even get mad at him for doing it. I just find it funny. Like, when he destroyed my first palette, I was just laughing because it's like, I knew it was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to happen like right in front of my eyes and I didn't realize. <laughs> On the second time he did it, I wasn't here. My mom said that, that he got like eyeshadow all over his sweater and his pants because when I got in the room I see his clothes on the floor and I was like what happened it was like a massacre and he was like knocked out and I was like I can't get mad at him I just find it funny and he's very naughty like he's a sweet little boy but he's also naughty look he knows he is he, he knows he's naughty He's, um, the funniest thing I've seen him do so far is, like, one day I, I was walking in the house and I don't hear him and then I go to the bathroom and he, like, dragged out the whole toilet paper and I looked at him and he was just laughing and I was just like, what? <laughs> you know, I couldn't even get mad at that because I used to do that with my babysitters. So I was just like, oh, he's just like me. He likes taking stuff out of the drawers, from the bathroom. Right? That's what you do. And I'm just discovering things, so it's, it's natural. <laughs> but it's funny. I rubbed up so much of my makeup. Cause I've been sick for like a week. I don't know, I don't know anymore. <laughs> on this cool jacket so if I sound or look like oh it's cuz I am this sickness bothers me and has been waking me up at 6 a.m. for the past week it's really annoying there's my brother his hat now let me show you where the hell did he put everything I wanted to fall asleep, he wouldn't let me. And then he fell asleep, and now I can't sleep. <laughs> so my mom ditched us. <laughs> she went to the neighbors to go party. And she asked me if I wanted to go upstairs, but all of her sleeping. And as much as I love them, because they know how to party and drink, freaking neighbor son they're thinking that I'm probably still in love with him or some shit which is not true that's another story but you have like a major crush on a guy and they think they're in love with you it's like probably like four or five years ago or six years ago maybe maybe more I'm losing my voice I think I sound too funny Not doing any socializing. <laughs> Probably that that should be my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Being more sociable. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard for me. Like I I get nervous sometimes talking to people. It's like sometimes I just don't get a good vibe from people, so I just don't even want to fuck with them. I don't know. But 2018, I'm gonna try my best to be more social. Cause my son is really social, so I gotta be social now. <laughs> no I'm kidding, but yeah, like so hopefully good things come in 2018. I feel like it is gonna happen, like something good. I just don't know what. <clears throat> but I'm hoping for the best. My hubby's still at work, and I probably won't even see him. For a New Year's kiss. So that sucks. My hair is a mess right now. I don't know what to do with my hair. So may your hair grow as long as fuck in 2018. <laughs> So it 
it is almost midnight and I definitely am losing my voice and all is still sleeping hello guys no use my name <laughs> stupid <laughs> Awake? Yeah. You wanna give him a treat? Okay, my baby. Hold on. Give it to Speedy. Let's see if Speedy wants it. Okay. Speedy. Coco. Speedy. Coco. Speedy. Good boy. <laughs> Good job, Oliver. Good job. You gave him a treat. Yeah. You can pat him on the head. Yeah. Good job. One more? Okay. Well. I'm gonna go take off my face, get ready for bed, because my throat is not having it anymore. So may 2018 be your year, because I sure as hell will try to make it my year. So, have a good night. Bye.